Hello and welcome back guys to another tutorial brought to you by Mac Productions. I'm Mohammed, and today I'll be showing you on how to go about cracking the Windows 10 admin account password. This only works for the offline accounts, not for the online ones. For the online ones, I'll be bringing out another video, uh, so make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'll leave a link in the description as well. So let's go over the requirements. The only thing you'll need is a USB or a DVD that you can boot into using the Windows 10, Windows 8 or Windows 7 setup. The steps can be recreated on any of the Windows setups, you just need to follow along and understand what's going on. If you don't know how to create a bootable USB, I'll leave the steps in the description down below. Let's get started. So what I'll be doing is running a Windows inside a VM so I can show you step by step on screen. So I'll just boot up my Windows 10 setup here. And it's running in VirtualBox. I'll go ahead and make this full screen. Okay, here we go. So as you can see, I've got, so name last, this is my online account, which I'll be doing in the next video, so make sure you subscribe. Uh, but for now, we've got the admin and the user account. So admin has all the right access and everything else. So if I try and log in, you can see I've forgotten my password. I don't know what it is. And I've got a bad hint for it, so there's no way me at getting access to this laptop without losing my files. What I can do is I can log in to user, which doesn't have a password on it, but it's not much use because it's not an administrator account. So here we are. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and restart the laptop and I'm going to boot directly from the USB or the setup. I'm going to select what device I want to boot from. I want to boot from the CD drive, press enter. So this will now load the Windows 10 setup. Now that we're in here, we're going to click next at this screen. So choose your time format. It doesn't really matter what you choose because when we get to this screen, we'll just be choosing repair your computer. And in here, we'll be choosing troubleshoot and command prompt. Now, at this level, uh, what we're going to do, first of all, is we're going to find out where our Windows 10 installation is on, on which partition, our volume. So we'll type in disk part first. Okay, so now what we'll do is type in list disk which will show us the disks that we have connected. So these are the hard drives slash SSDs that you have. We're going to select zero here. You'll need to know which one you're connected to. You can either identify by the size or by how much free space you've got. So I've got that selected. Now I'm going to do list volume. This will show me which volumes I've got. So you can see my biggest volume is the 31 gig, which is on D. Most likely this is where my Windows installation is because the other are too small for Windows to be on there. So now that I know that information and, you know, what I can do is I can just exit this and I can switch to my D volume. And now that I'm in here, I can just press DIR to see what directories there are. And I can see my Windows directories right there. So I'm going to switch into Windows and then switch into System32. Now what we do here is we will just type in REN for now and we're going to check that these two files exist and they are command.exe, so cmd.exe, and the other one is util.man.exe. So these two files are the ones that we've been working with. What we're going to do first of all is we're going to copy command.exe to command.exe.backup. You can follow along or you can just copy and paste the commands. Uh, I'll put them in the description down below. So when I do that, one file is copied. I'm also going to copy utilman exe and I'm going to rename that oops, sorry exe dot back so now I've got copies of both of those files what I'm going to do now is I'm going to delete utilman dot exe I'll get rid of that file and I will rename cmd dot exe to utilman dot exe when we do that go ahead and exit now we can go ahead and restart our computer. Okay, so at the logon screen, uh, we'll see ease of access in the right hand corner of our screen. When we click on that, you'll see ease of access utility didn't come up, command prompt did. So what we'll be doing here is we'll be typing net user to see all the users on this computer. And we can see our admin account is right here. Uh, this is our account that we have. This is one of the other accounts that we've got. This is our administrator, so this is admin admin. But to be honest, we only need access to this admin because this is the user that we can actually log in as. 
So if we just type in net user admin, so we've selected which user we want to change. And then after that, you put a space and you put the password that you want to set for that user. When we click enter, the command is successfully completed. We can exit this utility now. Click on admin and type in the password that you typed. In my case, it was test123. Hit enter and voila, we're in. To take things back to how they were, all we need to do is go back into the Windows setup, repair your PC, troubleshoot, command prompt, and we're back at the screen. Here, all we're going to do is just change to our D directory or your Windows directory, cd into Windows like we did before, system32, and then we're going to delete the utilman.exe file because we replaced this with a command prompt. So we'll delete that. Keep in mind we do have backups of both of these files. So what we'll do now is rename utilman.exe.back to utilman.exe. Rename e, uh, cmd.exe.backup to cmd.exe. And that's it. And there you have it. Thanks a lot for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.